Good morning campers. So it's upper body today, just a, a very gentle mobility uh, sequence for wrists, shoulders and just a little bit of waist. So we're going to sit up nice and tall in the chair. So I like to have my feet firmly on the ground and we're just going to start with our flamenco move. So drawing a circle and then the opposite direction. So obviously we're working our wrists here, but what you probably aren't aware of is when the arm's in this position, you're also working your shoulders. So let's make sure we relax our shoulders and then we're going to come back. And we're going to go a little bit higher this time. So the higher you bring your arms, the more we're working the shoulders. And we're just going to be doing like little lazy circles one way or the other, and then arms down thinking of bringing the shoulders away from your ears and then you can go a little bit higher still if you want and then the opposite direction and bring them down and while we're here let's just do a nice inhale draw the shoulders up towards the ears and then <sighs> relax them down with a sigh bring them up to the ears really gently squeeze 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 and down <sighs> last time Nice deep breath in, squeeze your shoulders up to the ears and a <sighs> lovely, have a little roll back around. Fantastic. So we're going to do a little hula hula move now. So the hula hula, again, working through the wrists. And if you lean slightly to the side as you do that, you'll start to feel the waist working. So we're just shifting our weight onto one bum cheek and then shifting our weight onto the other. I always imagine I'm on a beautiful island with garlands around my neck here because it's my back garden and I'm not going anywhere. And then if you want to, we can hula hula up to the top corners of the room. Or if you're in the garden like me, you imagine the top corners. And now, as well as that pushing away, working into the wrists, we're working the shoulders a little bit and then bring the hands down. So if you have arthritis in the fingers, you can just press the palms forward without interlocking the fingers. So a little gentle push, and what we're doing is stretching into the heel of the hand and the wrist. Because if you fall at any point, that's that move, isn't it? The hand goes out, it either goes against the wall or it goes against the floor. And that, particularly if you have osteoporosis, um, it is quite a delicate area. You think how um, the wrists are quite small in relation to the weight of your body. If you don't have arthritis in the fingers, you can do the, here's the house, here's the steeple, look inside and there's the people move and gently push forward so you're getting more of a stretch up into the forearm. So this is a bit more dramatic than the other stretch. So nice and gentle. Again, you can feel it on your wrist, but you might not be aware that the shoulders are working. So every time you're driving or typing or playing the piano or knitting or crocheting, that move there, you're working the deltoid muscles, so we need to relax them in between. And I always like that little circle as if you're shrugging off your overcoat or cardigan. Oh, that's nice. Fantastic. So back to the hula hula and if you want to, whoop, you can literally push a little bit further. So the more we go side to side here, that move, if you um, stop hulaing just for a second and put your hands on your hips and then come just above to the waist, you'll feel as you're leaning side to side that you're working these muscles here. Imagine the belt around your tummy button to the back there, sort of that's the line where the obliques are. But the obliques aren't just where my fingers are there, they wrap around your middle back. So if you've got any back problems, your hulas are going to be smaller. If you've not, woo, out of frame, woo, out of frame. So that gentle push, stretching into the heels of the hand and working into the waist. To work the shoulders a bit more, we're going to sort of do a little Bollywood move when you're pushing up and away. Lovely. And then we're going to make it even more Bollywood, which I call the changing the light bulb move. So it's a little twist and you can do it with both hands and then both hands the other way. So again, not just working the wrists, but we're working through the forearms and into the shoulders. 
So I really like this one. It reminds me of a sort of belly dancing move. So we've done a bit of flamenco, a bit of belly dancing, a bit of hula, and then just relax that down. Fantastic. We've also got the play and the piano move, and we can do the play and the piano move either side, a bit like the hula. And you might find you come onto one bottom cheek and then the other bottom cheek. So keeping the arms close to the body is easier on the shoulders. If you bring the hands out as if you're on a big Reginald Dixon organ, if you can remember, oh, I do like to be beside the seaside, you're working your shoulders a bit more as well as those fingers. You can also go out to the side and that's a stretch for the shoulders. Just got buzzed by B. Or you can make that a little bit bigger, bringing the shoulder blades behind you. I know a piano isn't this shape. It's sort of like a semicircle there. And then we can work a little bit deeper into the arms and shoulders if you want. I have a prop. So, if you have got maracas handy, you can use your maracas, but you don't have to. So pretend maracas don't make as much noise, but you're still doing that drum, 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 move, drum, 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 drum. If you have got maracas, So let's start with the shoulders down and you're just doing a little bam, 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 bam to the side, bam, 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 bam to the side. So wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then top corners of the room. And then we can get really creative. We're going to go up and up and down and down. All four corners of the room. And you can look up, look up, look down, look down, or stay looking ahead if that makes you dizzy. And then we're going to reverse that. So we're going to start at the different corner. So up, up, down, down. Work in the brain a little bit as you're working out the patterns. Remember, if you've not got your actual maracas, you can do the pretend ones. Fantastic. Then we're going to do a bit of a, a different pattern. We're going to go top corner, bottom corner, top corner, bottom corner. Two more. Last one. Change corners. Top corner, bottom corner. Working the arms and the shoulders in a slightly different way. You might feel a little, little stretch in your back and your waist. Two more. Fantastic. Now we're going to do a little bit of a, a sort of different pattern. Up down up down and a little bit faster if you can pull across other side pull across pull across ah lost it so it's a little bit like doing that the patting your head rubbing the tummy or patting your tummy rubbing the head and i know that sounds daft but have a go doing that we used to do it at school it really makes you think so patting the head pat a cake pat a cake and rubbing your tummy Let's do that with the other hand. So patting your head, rubbing the tummy. Oh, it's harder on this side. And then drawing a little halo shape and patting your tummy. I find that loads harder. It's like, ah. And then little halo shape with the other hand and patting your tummy. So the movements of the fingers here and the wrists, we are stretching them because you're doing different things with that alignment but you're also working the shoulders but you're working the brain so we're now going to do a little bit of patterning again you don't have to use maracas you can just use your hands but we're going to go cross out down cross cross out down cross cross out down cross if you're doing it without your maracas cross out down cross cross out down cross cross out down cross ah. so i get mixed up all the time it doesn't really matter you're not getting you know marks out of 10 for this so we're going to do a little bit of patterning again a little bit more for the shoulders up down cross out up down cross out working into your brain as you work out where your arms go if you get mixed up you just carry on so this little move here working into the shoulders in a little bit of a different way your moves might be a bit smaller if your shoulders are achy or a bit bigger the bigger the moves you might need to slow it down a little bit fantastic 
and then just roll the shoulders back. Lovely, lovely work. And then we're just going to do thumb finger like a fan shape. So fanning out. If you want to work upper and lower body, you can do the same thing with the toes. So much harder to do it with the toes. Big toe, toe look, this little piggy, isn't it? <laughs> I was just thinking. In fingers, I'm being buzzed by the again, you've got, you know, the index finger, ring finger, little finger, thumb. So this little piggy. And my toes are mirroring what my fingers are going to do. And then we're just going to give them a little shake out. So just a reminder of what we've done. We've done the flamenco move. You can do that with the feet as well. You know, one at a time. If you're sitting on the sofa, you can always do um, each foot at a time. Did you hear that crack? Uh, so creaking and cracks are quite normal doing this. So we've got the flamenco move. We've got the playing the piano move, either side to side or out and in. We've got the hula hula move low. We've got the hula 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 and we've got the changing the light bulbs little bollywood move and we've got the maracas up up down down and then we got the moves when we're doing crosses little patterns or up down cross cross we've got the shoulder roll back we've got the stretch of the hands forward either like that or like that so there's no right or wrong for this just do nice gentle exercises that feel like you're working into the wrist the more we're strengthening this bit of the wrist the better because if you do fall it's going to help prevent fractures on on this point and you know it's so awful when you've got a fracture there because like one arm's basically out of action you know you can't get dressed you can't put your um, your head scarf on you can't do uh, up buttons and things like that and it'll always be the arm that you use the most it, you know because without thinking about it it's your dominant side that goes forward um, the other way you can help your fingers and your wrists is give yourself a round of applause see you next time